Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in today's episode of Super Smooth's Test It, Fix It, and Run It, where I take one of my locomotives that's been sitting around and I test it, and if necessary, fix it, and I'll definitely run it. So let's get into today's episode, shall we? Looking forward to it. Hey everyone, let's start today off with a featurette. I know what I have. And today's I know what I have comes courtesy of eBay. And what we are looking at is an N-scale Bachman Durango and Silverton ready to run electric train set. The train set looks pretty neat. I know it's not prototypical nearly in any way, but it's got everything you need, including the track, pretty cool looking steam engine and three cars. And it can all be yours on a buy it now. There's no negotiating for this for the grand total of 20,000 four hundred and ninety five dollars yes that's right over twenty thousand dollars and you don't even get shipping free <laughs> I, I hope this was actually a mistake i haven't gone back to take a look but uh, if the twenty four thousand is the real price this person really knows what they have okay today's subscriber count is two thousand and i can't thank you guys enough i appreciate it i appreciate all the interaction and i'm trying to get back to everyone as soon as i possibly can there are more comments than I thought there would be when I originally started this, and certainly more subscribers. Thanks tons. Can't believe I'm here, and of course it's literally all comes down to you. As far as locomotives sporting the number 2000, we have this awesome Baldwin Jersey Central Lines Double Baby Face DR6. How cool is this thing? And we also have a Baldwin Demonstrator DT66-2000 and this GP35M. Very nice. 2000 is just a great number all the way around. As far as the fix-it locomotive, I've got a I've got a cool little Brill trolley here today, and I think it must have been part of a set because it's obviously in this packaging, but it doesn't have any kind of marking. So it's either non-retail or it's part of a set. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks either really unused or not used very much. And here's a cool little sheet on it that tells you all about it. Yes, very, very nice. Okay, let's take a look. Pop it out of here. Come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Ah, it's pretty neat, actually. I kind of like these muted colors. I don't know if they completely work together, but they seem to work fine on here. Door? No, door? Is that right? Is this how this is supposed to be? I'm gonna have to go look at the sheet again to make sure that I'm not missing a door, but it looks pretty cool. I like the silhouettes and I think uh, I'm going to use silhouettes on another project I have coming up and I think it'll look really, really good. So, there's something in there? Mm hmm, not really sure. Okay, well, we'll find out. No, you can see that same motor that sparked up the other day it's the typical HM mono motor. Well, it doesn't look like this thing's gotten a whole lot of use. These look relatively, you know, they actually look pretty clean in general. So, all right, very neat. I've never had one of these before, but let's go ahead and put it on the track and see what we get. little bit of stiction as you can see I'm trying to kind of work it out here by being a little bit brutal with it I have to admit but you know these Mahano motors <laughs> seem to be able to take a punch so I'm not too worried about it let's go ahead and pop it open and see what we get here oops the little I guess the coupler thing fell out uh it's a little bit dry that's all so let's goodness knows how long this thing's been sitting around I mean I don't even know when they started or stopped making this thing Looks like the commutator could use just a little bit of help. Let's go ahead and put some light oil on it and that way it'll sort of penetrate through and I will go ahead and put some Teflon grease on it to get it super smooth. Let's go ahead and put that on there. And I think hopefully that will kind of be enough. I'll go ahead and clean off the commutator as best I can here. I'm just gotta 
turn this. I don't think it's a big problem though. It's not really grimy. I mean, it does have a little bit of carbon fouling on it, but I think it'll be okay. The light even works, so that's good. Let's just pop this on here and see. And then that door. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the, I was gonna look at the instructions to see if there's supposed to be a door on there. I, I really don't know. Let's grab those real quick and see. Door or no door? All right, let's open this up and I don't think they're gonna, well, that, is that the other side? No, you know what? I don't think there's a door. I think that's just the way it is. I think it's just open like that. Okay, excellent. If anyone has one of these, I guess they can let me know. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is gonna work pretty well. I think this is doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so just need a little bit of run in, a little bit of lubrication, and I think it's going pretty well. That one worked almost too well, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and grab our locomotive while we're doing this. The next one I kind of came across by accident and I bought it with a bunch of other things but then I looked and I was pretty surprised and it is this brass double ender streamliner Pacific Electric Company uh, trolley so I'm like ah oh, this is pretty neat and I looked and they actually seemed to be somewhat be in demand. My father had one of these but it was a Bowser and it was unbuilt and I decided just didn't want to deal with the paint so I moved it on. There's nothing else in here. Okay. So I moved it on and um, I'm kind of glad to have one of these back that's already painted. So very cool. Let's take a look inside. Everything looks pretty clean. Open frame motor. I'm not sure if this is a great DCC candidate. I think it probably isn't, but that's fine. And a lot of wiring. Hmm. Let's see how much. Well, this has been, looks like it's been run a little bit. Oh, made in Japan. Very cool. Uh, it's been run a little bit, but not a ton. Wheels are a little, uh, a little sticky. They're not bad, but definitely the lubricant in there has kind of frozen over. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of frozen over a little bit. Uh, even just working them though like this seems to be making a positive difference. So let's go ahead and put her on the track and see what we get out of it. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's give it a try. so it's pretty much doing it. I think one of the things that's hurting it actually is the, so there's only one side that's driven. The other side, the, the wheels are kind of stuck and these ones are not perfect, but um, yeah, they're, they're, boy, that one's really stuck. Really, really, oh my goodness. But this one's not driven, so yeah, it's not driven. So ooh, ah, I wonder if I can just yeah, loosen it myself. It doesn't, this feels pretty solid. It's, so I don't have to take off the the base plate here, the keeper plate. I'll just see if I can get a little bit of penetrating lubricant in there. And you know, I don't necessarily have to have this perfect right now. I just really want it to work more than anything. And then if I, you know, it's, it's not like I run DC anyway. So if I DCC it, I'll have to do a little bit more to, oh my goodness. There it goes. Well. Yeah, that worked very well. I broke it free. Very cool. All right. So that's good. The, I think really, you know, the big problem is it's just sitting there on these two binding idler wheels. So yeah, it's rolling pretty free now. I think if I just work this in, I think we'll have a tenable model here. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and, I'm gonna just put a little bit of lubricating oil 
down in these creases again. I don't have to have this perfect right now. I will probably have to change this motor out in order to DCC this. So I'm not gonna worry about it a ton. Since these open frame motors are just not great DCC candidates. They're usually three pole and they're usually just, they take up a lot of amps. They're just not very efficient. So let's just get this running and then we can figure out what to do with it later. There's certainly enough room in there for DCC and I don't think, well, let's make sure that's, let's make sure that's spread out pretty good. And there's enough room in there and I don't think it's gonna be very difficult to swap this motor out with something a little bit more modern, five pole, something like that. Let's get this set up there. This is hard to do through the camera. All right, let's give it a go. that went pretty well it's a little coaxing now my track here on my workbench is very dirty i mean i oil it and run all these old school locomotives on it so it gets dirty pretty quick and i think it's already pretty old track that's kind of deteriorating as it is but yeah i think this is gonna work just fine and once i go down to my layout uh my analog controller down there just has a little bit more oomph to work with these things so this is working good I'm really happy with that. It's hard to be displeased. Let's see. I think, you know, I, I can still feel it binding just a little, but not bad. I mean, it was like frozen dead solid when I first started on this thing a couple minutes ago. Let's just work it so that we'll work that lubricant in there. Yeah, I think so. I think we've got a runner that Will give us a lot of joy. It's really this wheel. This is the one that was really binding up yeah, these two in general, but this front one, holy mackerel. So, oh, anything interesting? Can you actually use these pantographs if you want? It doesn't look like it, right? There's nothing that connects, but maybe if they're made out of brass, it wouldn't be too difficult. Let's get this on here and get the, there we go, get these stowed away because these will definitely not clear my bridge. Well, that's pretty nifty. I like, I guess this roof just kind of sits on there. It's kind of loose and it doesn't feel like it really wants to snap in place a whole lot. Let's see what the thing looks like just by itself. Both of these went pretty smoothly. I'm really happy about that. And this paint job looks really immaculate. Very well, I mean, it's really, really nice. And you know, it looks, I mean, it's like a cross between something that I know is, I can't, I don't think those are decaled, right? I mean, this is real paint that's on here. Ah, there's something really elegant about this model. I don't know how to describe it. I think the camera's picking up pretty well. I mean, the paint's a little bit chewy kind of peely but um yeah you know what i like it it's pretty nifty it even has the destination okay no lights though all right but I, this is something that can be worked with without a doubt and replace an open frame motor i think we've done well here so let's just plop it on the track real quick downstairs and see what we get with this and the brill Well, I couldn't be too much happier than I am now with these. These are awesome and cute, and I've never had any trolleys that are running on my track before, and they're doing a great job. They're both working really, really well, and I'm really enjoying them. And I 
certainly think uh, both can be DCC'd with relatively a little extra effort. And man, look at this thing. It's running really well. I mean, that, that wheel was seized, but the light super smooth, cleared it right up, no problems whatsoever. And it is running great around the track. I can tell though it's sucking up a pretty fair amount of amperage. I don't, just by the way it's running. And the fact that I have both these running at the same time and I can tell how much it bogs down the brill. Um, but man, yeah, I couldn't ask for much more. What a great, what a great day. 2,000 subscribers. These things working great and looking great. Hey, everything's really awesome. So appreciate you being here like usual. Thank you so much. And if you haven't done so, you can see how much subscribing makes me happy. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be great. Like, comment, I'd like to hear from you. And I'm trying to get back to everyone. I literally am trying to get back to everyone, but sometimes it takes me a while and I'm getting further behind because so many people are commenting, but that's okay. And I will give you a gab free running session here in a second. So let me know what you think. Take care, happy model rare running. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.